Hello everyone and welcome back to Cup of Joe Beauty. Today we are going to be diving into a very fun video on how to slay those eyebrows away. So I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, I'm hoping it's something useful that everyone can kind of find ways to wiggle with and ways to use every day. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like the video. Um, if you have not already, please, please subscribe to my channel. It means the world to me. And make sure to share this video anywhere you want to. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's dive. Okay, so we are up close and personal again. So the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start by brushing my eyebrow hairs down. Now the reason I'm doing this is because you actually get a better visual of your eyebrow shape and like your art shape when the hair is brushed down. Perfect. Okay, so you guys can see it on one side, but I'm going to walk it through on this side. So I'm going to be starting from the edge of my nose and aligning it with the edge of my eyebrow. And this is where my eyebrow should start. And then I'm going to do the same thing, edge of my nose over my pupil, and this is where my arch should be. And then edge of my nose, outer corner of my eye to outer corner of my brow, and that's where my tail should end. So as you can see, you get three little lines, and this kind of gives you the general map out of where your eyebrows should be laying. So if you have like new eyebrows or eyebrows that have never been plucked or threaded or waxed, this kind of gives you an idea of what they should look like. And then I'm going to connect them in straight lines using my pencil or end of my brush as a guide. So now you can do this two different ways. You can either fill in your brow the way you desire it to look so that way your brows fit how they should look when they're filled in. But what I like to do because I don't go too crazy when I fill in my brows is I just make a straight line and then connect it to the arch. And then I go from the arch to the tail. Oh, and I'm using the Goof Proof Eye, Pen Goof Proof Eye Pencil from Benefit in the shade 3. Yes. I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side. And on this side. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the bottom. But this is just kind of giving me the general layout of like the thickness that my brow should be and all of that goodness. And then I'm going to go out and pluck outside of the line. And this is going to really help you avoid over -plucking. Now that I'm going to start the um, line underneath the brows, I'm going to brush my eyebrow hairs up. Same thing on the other side. And then do the exact same thing on the bottom. And so connecting from where it should start to where it ends. And then where it starts to where it ends. Now because the tail will obviously be tapered, I kind of pick mine up to an angle. But you want to be really careful not to over pluck your brows. Because you can always pluck a little bit more. You can't add hair back. Well, I mean, you can, but it will not happen right away. <laughs> okay, so now that it looks like you've got uh, some craziness going on on your brows, <laughs> I'm going to actually start plucking. And so what this is going to entail is any hairs that are above the line, like this little guy right here, I'm going to pluck. And any hairs that actually lay on the line, I'm going to pluck as well. And so this is going to help you from over plucking, like I said. And I actually don't get very thick brows at all. That's why I never get them waxed, just because I don't have enough hair to really make a difference, um, which has always been my preferred look. But now that I want thicker brows, I would really love to have a lot of brow hair, but I don't. So I just stick to tweezing. And this is how I started mapping my brows out when I was probably like 14, 15, because I noticed that I had some uh, very skimpy brows. So I have this brow done, and now I'm gonna move on to this little crazy thing. And so, like I said, I'm going to pluck outside of the hairs, or outside of the line, 
And then any hairs that are on the line too. Yeah, oh, get those little baby hairs. You can also use um, a straight edge or like a straight razor. I just prefer not to because that tends to make my skin break out from the razor going so harshly on my face. So I prefer to actually pluck them versus waxing or shaving. I have not tried threading though. I have heard really good things about that, but I have never tried it. So I do want to try that sometime, but for now, I'll stick. Okie dokie, now that I have them kind of cleaned up outside of the marks, I am going to go remove these crazy lines off of my eyebrows and then I'll be right back to show you guys how I actually fill them in on a daily basis because my eyebrows are sad little thin things, so I want them to be nice and thick and bold. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows all cleaned up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush my hairs in the way that I want them to lay. And I was actually pretty lucky to have my hairs, like they lay pretty flat, which is nice. And so then I'm gonna take my Goof Proof Brow Pencil from Benefit, like I said, I'm shade three. And then I'm gonna start from the, I guess, inner corner, or like the front of the brow. And my hair kind of grows weird, I don't know if you can see it, but it's like a little bald spot right there. Um, and so what I'm going to do is I'm gonna fill that in and then drag it to my arch, and then I'm gonna go from my arch to my tail and pull that down and make it a little bit longer. And so now that I have the bottom kind of outline, I'm gonna start from the top of the brows, and what I'm gonna do is like, you're kind of almost tracing your brows, and then you'll fill them in. And so I start right here, not actually where the uh, hair grows up but kind of where it starts to grow back like towards your ears and then I just start outlining that towards the arch and then I go from the arch to the tail and then I kind of flick it forward a little bit and then I kind of make little baby strokes towards the front and then stroke upwards just like that. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna grab my spoolie, which is the mascara one, basically, is what most people think of. I'm gonna kind of brush the brow. And what I'm doing is I'm basically blending all those strokes so that way it looks really, really smooth and doesn't look like a bunch of little pieces, but just kind of looks like one solid shade. And I'm gonna take a little bit of eyebrow powder. You can use eyeshadow powder, it doesn't matter. Just any brown powder or blonde powder and go over the top and what I'm doing is I'm setting that cream because it's a really nice cream. This is honestly probably my favorite brow, like a uh, pencil is the benefit one. It's so easy to use. And I'm just gonna go over with the powder and kind of set it into place basically. Kind of when you set your face with powder, that's what I'm doing with my eyebrows. And I also like to just kind of flick the front up to give it that ombre effect. And then I'm gonna brush through it one more time. And so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the Gimme Brow Plus. Well, actually this is the original Gimme Brow. They came out with a new Gimme Brow Plus, but this is a eyebrow gel. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna kinda of brush my hairs up a little bit. I like to keep my hairs right here in the front kinda of longer because I like that look of having it like subtly spiked or like where the front is kind of like, not fuzzy, it's just, um, I don't know how to describe it, but where it looks like that. And then I'll go in and kind of lay down those unruly ones. Okay, and then the last little effect I'm going to do is I'm going to take a teeny weeny bit of highlighter and go right underneath my arch. And what this is doing is, this is kind of bringing all your attention to the arch, giving your eyebrows an illusion of having more of an arch, even if they don't have one. I actually don't like cutting out my brow underneath um, with concealer or foundation or anything, but I do like cutting out the top. So that'll be the next step. But for the bottom, I like to just put a little bit of highlighter. 
Okay, so the last step that I'm going to do is I'm going to carve out the top of my brows with a little bit of concealer. The reason I'm doing this is because I don't want them to look messy. I want them to look nice and clean and also kind of pop a bit. So I'm going to take a little bit of concealer that I'm wearing today and just start carving out where I want the brow to be a nice and cut basically. <laughs> the brush I'm using is the flat concealer brush from the Morphe Ice Lake collection. I also go in the front a little bit right there <laughs> and then just kind of brush it out softly and then I'll go over it with my foundation brush. All right, guys, these are the finished eyebrows. I really, really hope you guys like this and that you learned some useful tricks. Even if you get them professionally done, feel free to tell your esthetician that, you know, you want your brows to look a certain way or if you feel they're going a little thin for what you would prefer, then feel free to tell them. I mean, I'm sure they're open to what you're wanting to say because these are your brows are on your face. Everyone sees them every single day. They're a very important feature, so make sure they are doing them how you like them done. As I was saying, I really hope you guys enjoyed, and thank you so much for watching another one of my videos. Um, please, please feel free to leave comments down below in the comment box on what you would like me to do next week or the week after that or just what you want to see in general. Um, that's where I see your guys' ideas and get my ideas for the next videos. I mean, you guys are the ones watching these, so I really want to make sure that I'm doing stuff that you want to see. So thank you guys again for watching. It means the world to me. Um, give the video a thumbs up and please share this anywhere you can, anywhere you want to. I appreciate it. And I will see you guys next week.